five cartoon characters who needed their asses whooped, part two. You haven't seen the first one, you know what to do, go on my page and check it out. Without further ado, here we go. Number one was Kevin from Ed, Ed, Nettie. Kevin was the stereotypical jock boy D-bag who everybody liked. I don't know why he was popular. Well, actually, I do know why. He was popular because his parents had a job at the Jawbreaker factory, and I guess that made him cool or something. But even though he was popular, that didn't give him the right to downgrade the Eds and call them dorks or whatever. But, yeah, I always thought he was a D-bag and he deserved his ass whooped. Number two, this a-hole right here, Mr. Krabs from Spongebob. And one of the main reasons why is because he treats his employees like they're slaves, he's dishonest, he's greedy, and even so much to the point where he sold Spongebob's soul for 62 cents in the episode. Not only does he deserve an ass whooping, not only deserve prison time, but he probably deserves a one-way trip down to the fiery pit of you-know-where. Number three, Dodie Bishop from As Told by Ginger. And the reason why she needed her ass whooped above anybody else in the show is because she was supposed to be Ginger's best friend throughout the show, but there was many, many times when she did not demonstrate it. And don't get me wrong, guys, there was a lot of episodes where Dodie did stick by Ginger when Ginger was having a rough time, but overall, Dodie was manipulative and backstabbing as hell. But the whole premise of the show was Ginger just trying to find her place in the world among people. But Dodie, as manipulative and conniving as she was, she would do anything to make sure that she got into the popular in crowd above Ginger. And the messed up part about it is, she didn't care what she had to do, whose feelings she hurt, and who she had to step on to get what she wanted. And that's why she deserved multiple ass whoopings from Ginger and the popular kids. Number four. Oscar from Hey Arnold. If bum-ass mofo was in the dictionary, a picture of this guy should be right next to it. He was a leech. He was a con man. He was a deadbeat. He was a terrible-ass husband. He showed no ambition for trying to get an education, a job, and trying to better himself. The best thing he did throughout the series was telling Susie, you get the money, and hook, line, and sinker. Susie fell for it. His bum ass needed his ass whooped, and not to mention, Susie should have left him a lot sooner. Last but not least, Nancy from King of the Hill. And y'all know exactly why. Just as a bonus, Dale needs his ass whooped for being so gullible. But Nancy, she really ain't shiznit, because she's been sleeping with John Redcorn for 14, 15 years, and made Dale believe that that was her son. But then again, Dale's such an idiot that he can't see the difference anyway. And John Redcorn's an enabler. But all three of them need their asses whooped. But mostly Nancy. But that's the five. Who did I leave out, guys? You guys let me know in the comments. Peace out.